Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are doing this month's 100 Dragon Challenge. I know I'm a little late. It's usually the first week of the month, but I wanted to do my redraw for the first week of January. So this one we're getting kind of a mid January one. But in celebration of the new year, I wanted to do the next uh, animal in our lunar new year and celebrate this year's uh, animal, which is the year of the rabbit. Let me know down in the comments below if you are a year of the rabbit. I'm curious if uh, how many we have, because I know I'm a year of the monkey. Um, so yeah, uh, my year was what? 20, 2020? <laughs> I don't know, that wouldn't be great. But I know it was like kind of recent where I'm like, oh yeah, it's my year. But yeah, no, it, it was not a good year for my year. <laughs> so hopefully all of you who are the year of the rabbit have a really awesome and uh, special year for your lunar sign. But anyway, yep, start of 2023. Let's get into the first 100 dragon of the year. So with this rabbit dragon, uh, I was going back and forth on a couple of things in these initial sketches. I thought about making it kind of like bigger and floofier. Um, and if I wanted to do like more, I guess, fuzzy or feathered wings. And then I also was going back and forth on some ear designs. I was talking to the Twitch chat about this while I was doing it live over there. If you guys want to hang out and follow me on Twitch and see some live art, there's the link twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. But I was talking to them about like the floppy or the tall ears because I don't really see a lot of floppy ears as much on uh, rabbit designs, at least for creatures. I see a lot of the tall ears. So I was like, maybe we could do floppy. But we kind of decided it would be really fun to have like a one ear up and one ear down. Uh, which I know is possible on rabbits. I don't see it very often, but I guess I'm not also a rabbit connoisseur. Uh, but I thought that would be kind of a, a little fun combo. Plus then we get to see both sides of the ear, like the inside and then the outside of the one that's floppy and down. And then after figuring that out and getting a general design done with my rough sketches, it was time to jump in and do the pose. So initially in my initial like thumbnailing early sketches, I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cute if it was sitting and it was just like in a cute little poof ball with all its feet kind of together underneath it. Uh, but then I remembered like, I love when rabbits kind of sit on their hind legs and stand up. I think that would sh help me show like a lot more um, color variation on this rabbit dragon. And then also have a nice place to put the wings and kind of an elongated tail and just kind of show overall the pulled proportions of certain parts of this rabbit. Since it's a rabbit dragon, I thought we could extend the neck uh, to make it kind of a little bit more elongated and like the kind of serpentine longer neck type of thing. Not by much, but just a little bit. And uh, I wanted to be able to show the horns and maybe some spikes going down its back and then also kind of highlight the wings, which I was going back and forth on. I'm like, we could make them maybe fuzzy. We could make them like more bat-like and uh, webbed, or we could do like feathers. I ended up going with kind of a combo. So I did the bat-like webbing between uh, the main like wing bones. <laughs> and then I made uh, the other parts like fuzzy. I just thought it was like kind of a fun and cute concept. I don't think I've really seen that much like of that combo. So I thought I would try it out. And then for these horns, I wanted to do like these cute little round, uh, not like striped, but I guess like kind of ribbed horns. I thought they looked really cute in the initial sketch. My first gut instinct, honestly, for the horn designs were doing kind of like a jackalope and we get more of like antelope or Sometimes you get the bigger, more like deer slash elk horns on a jackalope. Uh, but I was like, I, I don't know. I, it wasn't really clicking with me as much. And I wanted to make this one a little bit more, I guess, petite and cute in a way. Uh, and I don't really do smaller horns as much. I know it's a joke on the channel about how much I have like these really big, intense horns. But uh, yeah, I wanted to do something more small and cute and petite for this one. And we had a guest star of Kenshin and Josh there for a second. <laughs> the Twitch chat asked me to keep it in uh, the video. So there it is. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed making this big floofy, floofy little uh, rabbit dragon and having kind of those bigger feet 
Um, I do notice that I don't really draw like rabbits or um, like rodent like creatures very often. Um, like even in my spare time, I don't really practice them anatomy wise. Like I, I tend to gravitate towards more of like reptiles or uh, feline or like larger creatures, but I think I should really expand. And maybe this year I'm gonna start drawing more of the uh, smaller creatures of our world, like rodents and other things like that and rabbits, you know, all those things. So here in the color picking phase, I did a little bit of like searching online uh, right before I jumped into color. And I wanted to do, I think it's called, oh, I wish I had it open. I don't think I have it open on my phone anymore. I think it's called like tortoise color. Uh, any rabbit enthusiasts or coloring enthusiasts, I know a lot of you came to my rescue on the rat dragon. You guys delivered and gave me some awesome information about like breeding colors for different domestic rats. Um, but for the rabbit, uh, it's kind of like, it's not like a Harlequin color uh, per se, but kind of, I, I saw a couple Harlequin rabbits kind of like this, but it's it was like an orange with like a warmish black gray combo. And I thought that was just the cutest coloring that I've seen on a rabbit. Um, so I decided to go with that. And I thought it would be pretty fitting for like a rabbit dragon because those bright warm oranges uh, just, I feel lend to the dragon-esque-ness, you know, like fire breathing dragon orange. I know this is kind of a stretch, but that's kind of my thought process when I was picking out colors and what coloration this rabbit could have. Because I wanted it to be like a coloration that exists in domesticated rabbits, but I didn't want it to be like an all white rabbit or an all gray rabbit. I wanted to push the boundary a little bit more and try out a different like color combo than like maybe the initial one we think of when it comes to rabbits. The one problem though with pushing this other color combo was uh, I realized that uh, a lot of my Copics are running low again. <laughs> so I did a restock when they had a sale at my local art show store. So uh, now I'm just gonna have to do that again for my next art shop. Just like wait for another good coupon and restock on some Copics because my warm grays are running pretty low. Um, I think it was like the warm gray seven, maybe I think was really low. Um, and then the tannish orange that I use as the base color also was running low and I'm like, oh, damn. So <laughs> we're going to have to go through and, and get some new markers in, in this upcoming year. I think I'm just going to do a big swatch test and take every marker off my shelf and then like kind of color a pretty decent sized square. Cause if you just like swatch it once, like just run the marker over the paper once, you won't always see if it's like dead. So I'm like, I really gotta just color a, a good like swatch of surface area to see if it runs out of ink pretty quickly. But yeah, even with the dyeing ink, I still think it looks really good. I did a lot of layering cause I wanted to kind of build the radiation of the colors, especially in those, in those gray black, warm gray areas. I saw on the initial uh, photo of the rabbit that I found that it, it had that really beautiful uh, gradation from the tan to the gray. So I wanted to lay down the tannish color first and then put the gray over it. So it kind of had like an undertone of that tan and then slowly build with the darker colors as well uh, to just always have a little bit of that tan behind it. I didn't really push it as dark as I think I could have went. Um, I do like how dark some of the stripes are, uh, but in the photo, it went like basically to black, black. And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't really feel it for this one. It would have worked, I think, but I didn't want it to be such a stark contrast. Cause I feel if I made one of those stripes really black, it would have just, you know, your eye would have just been drawn to that instead of the overall piece. I think the only improvement that I would see in this one is I kind of wish I had the ability to do more blending um, because that base tan was running out of ink. It was very hard to blend. Um, I kept going over it layer by layer with that tan or any other lighter color just to try to get some of those colors pushed back or like 
you know, bleeding into each other a little bit better. And uh, it just didn't work since the tan didn't really have enough ink. And I mean, I could have used a colorless blender, but I've noticed with colorless blenders, it tends to take the color off of this paper. It might be the paper type or the blender, I'm not sure, but I'm still pretty pleased with how this rabbit dragon turned out. I think it's a really cute design. And uh, like I said, it kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone because I don't really draw rabbits like ever. And I don't really draw rats or anything similar like that. So I think this was a good one. But let's go ahead and look at uh, last month's dragons for the dog dragons. Demonica, I really like your cool Asian lung style with the little tennis ball on the mouth. That was really cute. And I love the coloring and like the patterning that you put for this dragon. And then Fuzzy Dragons, another cute tennis ball one. Uh, it's just, I love the proportions and the anatomy of your dog dragon and the size of the tennis ball next to it. It's just really cute. I love this overall. So if you guys would like to enter uh, this month's rabbit dragon, uh, go ahead and post it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag KM100Dragons. And then you can also join our Discord. We have a uh, basically a special chat room there where you can post your dragons directly to the Discord as well. And then with this one, um, if you're still here, I'm gonna be collecting the entries for it on the 27th. I know it's a little bit of a short notice, so you got about two weeks to submit this one. It's just cause I posted it a little late and I need to get it edited before the third. So either way, try to get it up between the 27th and the 29th, somewhere in there and you should be said. But either way, thank you guys again so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, join our community, hit the like button, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks for another video. Bye, everybody.